Hi, and welcome to Cisco Bytes. My name is Matt Okuma. I am a systems architect here at Cisco, and today I'm going to be covering our Meraki MG product line and a couple new MGs that have been released. So that this is our mobile gateway, our cellular WAN connectivity device that literally provides um, high-speed cellular uh, WAN connectivity directly managed, deployed, and operated through the Meraki dashboard. So taking advantage of all those good things that we love about the Meraki dashboard, but now applying it to a mobile gateway solution, uh, very similar to um, what people traditionally bought for cradle points. So what this takes a whole new spin on it and uh, a lot of, lot of great advantages to it. So first, let me just walk you through the actual flavors of the MG that are available to customers. Um, we just came. We just released two new uh, MGs. That's the uh, MG41 and the MG41E here on the left. Uh, the big difference between the MG21 and 21E is that it has dual nano SIM capability um, to allow you to provide um, cellular connectivity to two cellular providers. So, so pretty neat there. And we'll, and we'll go through that here in, in a couple more slides about some different use cases. Uh, I have an MG21 running here at my home office, and I'm going to actually show you that in my Meraki dashboard so you can see what it looks like. Um, but just to level set here, there's really um, one cool advantage in the way that I'm using it here at home is uh, to create a resilient uh, WAN connectivity. So this top one here. So I have a MG21. I will actually put in a picture of it, how I have it deployed here at home so you guys can see it when you watch this back. Um, but I have it as my second WAN connection, and of course, WAN 1 on my MX here at home is a uh, primary um, Ethernet connection to the Internet. And then the MG hands off the second Ethernet connection, which is getting its connect WAN connectivity from a cellular connection. The second way with the new MG41, which is really neat, you could provide a, another, um, an extra level of resiliency because you can have two cellular connections uh, connected by the MG41. And if you don't have good cellular connectivity, you can get the external version and mount it outside on the side of a building so that you can get better um, cellular coverage. And we'll walk you through in the dashboard how you can actually see that in the dashboard and see how good a signal quality you have. So really cool stuff there um, to provide some really cool connectivity, especially we're all more remote now. And uh, sometimes our home internet's, you know, have issues, it's always nice to know that you can continue to work or continue to have your branches be up and operational uh, with the use with a simple device like uh, this MG gateway. So let's jump over to the Meraki dashboard now and take a look at how the MG is provisioned and actually maintained and operated in the Meraki dashboard. So super, super simple as you could expect from Meraki. So as soon as you put the nano SIM in that MG device, power it up, it's going to register back to the Meraki dashboard. And from here, you're going to see kind of this uh, main summary interface here. So you could set a location. You could name it like you always do with your Meraki devices. You could see what it grabbed from the provider. You see the connection is active. Get some historical connectivity, uh, the serial number, all that good stuff, um, what firmware it's running, and uh, obviously any other information as far as you know, address and stuff where it's at, you can, you can program in here. But let's take a look at the, uh, the actual uplink section here. So if I look at the uplink section, this is where you, know, you really get to see some cool stuff. So just starting over here on the left, you can see all the relevant provider information. So the, the IMEI information, this is typical cellular type information here. Um, the APN and who's the provider, you can see the overall uh, signal strength is good here. And if I click on more signal strength, you can see the actual received power and received quality of the actual cellular connection. Um, and imagine if you had many, many branches and you were able to just kind of look through and manage this stuff from here. Um, very, very powerful on the operational capabilities here. So if I look down at the, uh, the uplinks here, you can see the uh, live data. So there's a nice live data link here. You can see, obviously, I don't have anything really going right now through this, but you can see um, just total total traffic, total download. So then on the actual 4G cellular statistics here, I can see um, the received power, and it gives you a good, um, over time, you can see how your connection is. So mine's fairly good here. Um, I don't have 
this is internal and you know and i don't have all that great of coverage here at my home but you can see that um, because it's you know powered and it's a bigger device with a bigger antenna i'm getting pretty good pretty good quality here and then here is to some other statistics here as far as the um, received quality. So the received quality of the signal as well is good. My latency, you know, is pretty consistent between, you know, 40 and 50 milliseconds of latency, which isn't too bad for cellular. And I don't have any loss, which is really, really good. So this connection is actually pretty, pretty stable here. And you could set where you're connecting to and where you're uh, verifying your connectivity here by uh, going through a different section here in, in, in the dashboard, which it tells you. So DHCP, so this is, uh, you can configure this so that it can hand out uh, DHCP addresses. And you can see that my MX, which I am connected to, grabbed one of the IPs here. Um, so you can manage that on however you're using this gateway. Location is what it is, it's just where it's at. But the real cool thing here is sort of the tools that are, are built in. So this is, you know, these are things that you love, come to love and, and expect from Rocky, but it's applied to, you know, your mobile gateways now. So you could do things like test the dashboard throughput, which I just ran and we can see that I, I have 20 megabits per second over my cellular connection. Run it again if you want, you can do things um, like DNS lookup, trace route, you know, all that good stuff here. Just to get basic connectivity, you can you know, verify basic connectivity. You can do some pings as well. Reboot the device, blink the LEDs, all that good stuff. Let's jump over and just take a quick look at um, my MX. So let me jump over here to my MX. And what you'll see is I have my normal uh, connection here and then I have the MG plugged in to here and it's basically giving me that second WAN connection, right? And if I look at my uplinks here, you can see that um, I am getting that um, that subnet here that the MG handed off. So I have my primary connection, which is my home internet, and I have my secondary connection, which is my WAN2. And um, you can then see sort of the, the different latency between the links and also the, the uplink traffic between WAN1 and WAN2. And uh, as I said, not much going on here, but really cool integration there. And on those newer MXs that are coming out, security devices, the uh, WAN ports do have the ability to have PoE, so we could actually power up that MG um, directly from your security appliance. So it's really giving you that full full uh, Meraki stack there on the WAN side and the connectivity side without having to run a power injector or something. So really, really cool uh, little setup for um, a very resilient home connection or a very, very resilient uh, remote branch or even a, a primary branch. Um, so very, very cool. So in conclusion, thank you for taking the time today to uh, listen to this uh, quick overview of our Meraki MG solution, both the MG21, which we've had for a while, and now the new MG41, which has that dual nano SIM technology that allows you to have multiple cellular connections and even operate a branch off of primary, primarily off of cellular connectivity versus something like satellite or, or mobile satellite and those things. They're very cost-effective high-speed link um, for your remote solutions or your mobile solutions that you might have for your infrastructure. Please check back in and subscribe to our channel to see uh, other great videos from other Cisco systems architects. And thank you very much.